Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Diablo 4. Uh, I've got the latency on down in the bottom left because the servers are still having a few issues during last night's live stream. They were all over the place. Uh, the latency would sit about 60 and then it would spike up to 600 and then over a second and then there would be disconnects. So that's just so we can inform ourselves of, uh, of what's going on. So, where are we? Uh, in terms of the level 3 thing, we need to use Wrathful, uh, Wrathful Malignant Invoker in one of the tunnels. That will happen probably after we're level 50 and we're working on our end game gear. For chapter 4, we have completed this. We need to do the Cathedral of Light, we need to get to level 50, uh, and we need to upgrade items at the blacksmith. That is also going to be once we hit level 50. So, what can we do over here? Nightmare Sigils. Uh, Nightmare Sigils, Helltide, Helltide, Paragon, all of this stuff is once we're level 50. So leveling is our key objective right now. There are a couple of things that we can we can do to help us out on the way. Uh, let's very quickly just go back to Tarsrak. Uh, we'll talk to the person in town. We're going to do Strongholds. Um, that's our main focus. But any side quests that we can do on the way are going to be helpful and convenient. Now I've gone through all of our malignant hearts that we had in our inventory and cleared them all out to the ones that I actually care about. So we don't have quite as much junk. Let hell take them back in better times. Okay. Side quest done, off to a good start. The other thing we could do to level up to 50 is just focus on Grim Favours. Um, but I think it's more interesting if we do the uh, the strongholds. So we're going to start with uh, Vieira's over here. And if we teleport to Zarbanzet, we can we can talk to people on the way through as part of other side quests. We've only got 57 nobles, so we're not going to be doing any gambling anytime soon. So this should be pretty straightforward. Go across, clear stronghold, try not to die. Yeah, we we want to go around this thing immediately to our right, but then we want to swing north. Ooh, while we're here, I will grab the Galavorin. Always get Galavorin. Is that close enough? Yes, it is. Three we go. And just on the other side of the bridge. Sat on a rock. Hey, Tomris. Are you ready to journey to I the am. folly? Let's be off. My friend Zrinka told me of a shortcut. Broken bridge, but close enough. Now we're not really going to be going to the folly, but at least that, that's not the specific plan. But we can go to uh, Tibalt's Grasp over there. And get some extra extra kills and stuff on the way. Now, with regards to our equipment, uh, we don't have all the uh, aspects on that we're going to want for our end game. Uh, we're kind of like in a, in a transition stage. I think that's the best way of putting it. So, for instance, we're not getting a free firewall every X amount of mana. Um, while we do have one that we could put in, uh, if we put it in now, we're not going to be able to put it in when we hit level 50. So that's that's basically waiting until we hit level 50. And at that point, 
we're looking to upgrade Kit more than anything. Uh, have you seen a man named Simon? Get back! Get back! I fear no demons! Oh no, don't. Yeah! Guys! It did not have to be this way. I'm sorry! No more! We beg you! Guys, what's up? Why? We have been tortured. Tormented. Ever since that man infected us with mm. nightmares. This man. Yes, yes. With okay, what else do you remember? Friendly with one another. He muttered what I asked him about. Okay, how about you? What can you tell me? Should have been in a library. And finally, can you remember Simon anything else? Tried to convince us to join them. Hidden knowledge sounds like a bad plan. His name? You should know it. Elias. Of course it was Elias. Elias? Elias the totally not dead. Well, he was probably dead at the time, but We've already dealt with Elias, so we don't need to worry too much. Thomas wants to go specifically to that place nearby, so we're not we're not going to do that. Because we are on our way to this stronghold. Something rots this place. Indeed it does. And it's the serpent cult. Now this is, uh, this is going to be a pretty dangerous place for us because of the amount of poison damage that's going to be coming out. That and the um, petrification is a bad combination. So we're going to want to be careful as we go through. It might mean that we end up being a bit slower on our levelling for this area. Honestly, I would rather stay alive than risk it and go too quickly. Vulnerable and poison at the same time. That's just. Do not like taking extra damage, but extra damage safe. Okay, that's a lot of fire damage on this one, so one done. I should see if there are more like it. This is a relatively straightforward um, stronghold. We know it's not going to be too dangerous. The most important thing is we don't overextend. Big guy's gone. There is the next eye. Let's head and get the one on the side. Hmm, hooray for petrification. Burn them all with fire. Oh my god, that is a that is a big snake. Big 
big snake gone. There's going to be an even bigger snake at the uh, back end of this stronghold. Right, there was a chest in here. We'll loot that for looting's sake. Can't come to a place and not loot the room. Such a satisfying combination. Seeing all that extreme fire damage going out. I don't like that these guys can just charge and stun. And the only way to be immune to stun is to be immune. Or unstoppable, actually. So, you know, more than just immune, but still. Open the door. if we can not be standing in poison. And if we can thin some of these extra guys out as well. shouldn't have popped my extra extra special defensive skill there. Oh god, that's painful. Let's back away. Because the charging of these guys is really painful. I need more time. There we go, that's, that feels a bit better. Lots of poison damage on the ground there. Very unsafe environment. Unfortunately, when it drops our health down just a little bit too much, we do less damage because we're no longer healthy. Okay, keep moving. Almost certainly a waste. I thought there might be a second wave that came in there. That's a shame. Stop. We're doing okay. Nice try, giant snake. Let's get our Hydra out and a firewall. New guy has spawned in behind. Big problem gone. Ow, that's not cool. Never seen that before. Let's drink a potion because there's a spare one just here. The 
little bit of gold. Doesn't feel worth it. Gonna be honest, does not feel worth it. I think we're good to move in and kill the giant snake. It is partly injured. I don't mind the occasional stun. And out of mana. Every chest armor. Love to see it. Okay, what's this chest armor about? Hey, that's even better. That is even better than the one that we've got saved. All right, well, we're going to put a gem in there straight away. So we're instantly getting part of the stuff that we've been missing. Now, in the end, we might want to put that on um, on an amulet rather than on a chest armor, so we get them more frequently. But for right now, I'm happy that we've just got it back. One stronghold done. Next on our list. Probably. Could be Alcanus, could be the Ultra Bruin, could be our Mouse with Yellow. Let's, let's do Alcanus. I don't think we're going to have time to do all four today. So the, uh, the thing we had, well, you have a barrier, there's a 30% chance to ignore incoming direct damage from distant enemies. It's a nice defensive skill. I'm not going to lie. It is a nice defensive skill. We might, we might still extract it because it's got a very high uh, percentage on it. I can break that down. There is no stash here. That's all right. We'll hold on to it for the moment.
into the dunes of sorrow. Let's find our way to Arcanus and get rid of that uh, damn research job that's going on. And of course on the way we'll pick up all the herbs that we can find. This place reeks of rotten flesh. What yeah. is this? It is definitely not a good place to be. I think we just burn everything with fire. <clears throat> it's so nice to have that firewall ability back. Being able to block um, basic missiles. It is a huge, huge thing. So up inside. necrotic mass for the moment. I think we need to go inside first. What's gone on here? Hello? Bloodamancer. I would love to, but... Subject 23. The plague of Alcanus was born from the dead of this city. Like all of the corpses here, 23's tissue appears flush with the demonic ether. <laughs> Still alive, in a sense, after decades of decay. It this is very interesting. <clears throat> I may have found more than a cure. What's going on here? See, I, I wouldn't necessarily uh, call her a mad surgeon. At that point, I would say, you know what, this is this is legitimate research that's probably worth looking into. Being vulnerable while they are all jumping around is not cool. So if you guys could just die, that'd be great, thanks. sure that necrotic mass is gonna go in a moment and then we'll have to deal with Rashta again. sure that we don't get accidentally exploded <clears throat> while we're proceeding through our harness. I lack the needed mana. The uh, pestilent hosts definitely have to go because they're spawning extra mobs all the time. The extra mobs aren't as damaging as There's like the skittering abominations, but I 
You'll never stop them. They're just going to keep coming. Okay, fireball on you guys. I'm trying to time my uh, fire bolts as well so that um, it's when there's several burning mobs in a line. Try and be efficient with the damage output that we have. I need more time. Oh, that's going to explode. We are pretty damn tanky, I will say that. Okay, next. Next necrotic mass. The research is almost done. I need more time. Generally not keen with giving you more time for anything you want to do. Okay. Second one gone. Nice careful dodge past the corpse there. Down the old steps. <clears throat> One more necrotic mass. Just over there, just to the west. Now it doesn't take much to take them out, but it's the uh, it's the summons that we always want to be careful for. Okay, let's get maximum fire damage in. application of our fire shield there. Make sure we're killing all the extra mobs before we go waking rashed her up again. We're ready to head back inside. Let's see if we can uh, put her down.
Luckily, they clustered together really nicely. Out of mana once again. Makes it a lot easier to kill them in a group when they do that. Yeah, we definitely want to be making sure we don't have extra mobs in where we can avoid it. I think that's actually stopping her projectiles entirely, so let's dodge out of that. Good one to get the old uh, Oh she's still burning in there technically. That's amusing. Yeah, these I need more time. Definitely need to go. Big fire coming in on you. Except you're moving. Of course you're moving. Like more simulacrums arriving. Almost down to the final, final bit. Come on, you need to go quickly. There we go. Dodge out of the way of all that. <sighs> Finally taking her down. She was a tough fight. Very much a tough fight. That was a good amount of XP. About a third of a level in total. Uh, we've definitely got time to go on and do the Ultra of Ruin. So let's push up and do that. I think the closest... Well, actually, we might be in the closest place where we are. So let's just hop on a horse and ride over there. And then after that, I'm going to need to consider making some more potions. Brewing some more potions, maybe. Is it possible to go down in here? No, it's not. 
That, that looks like a, a proper secret thing. I'm not ready yet. Right. Across the sands we go. <clears throat> Past all the burning dead. To do that. Past massive giant meteor craters. Or bits where demons are crawling out from the underworld. And here is the altar of ruin. So we can't go in this way, we're gonna have to go around. I think these people are a little bit chilly and they need some fire to warm them up. That is my understanding of what's going on here. Triune worshippers. Clerics of the Prime Evils. <laughs> executed. That is hilarious. You don't execute a pillar. I mean, you. Yeah, could I guess, but. It's just wrong terminology, really. There goes Earth Shaker, and we have our first chamber key. Indeed, there will be more pieces. a lot of fire damage going out on them. Now we still haven't triggered our um, emergency fire shield. So I think we're, we're managing our health all right and defensive skills. Because late game, one of our choices is going to be whether we keep it on there or whether we go more offensive to try and get through dungeons faster. And that's always going to be a balancing act, especially with a hardcore character. One gone, second gone. Right, let's find this final ritual chamber key. We're going to come back this way so I can get that gold later. Final priest should be down here. Final ritual might be a better way of putting it. Yeah. 
give me that key. Nice. Back up and in. The Ultra Ruins are a relatively quick one to deal with because you can't just go direct for your targets. Ooh, hello, amulet. Let's uh, go have a look at that. When you cast Blizzard, yeah, we don't care about Blizzard. It might be a nice one for us to um, put other things on, like re-imprint over the top of. I am quite glad that we got that little healing thing there. Dark Cardinal Maldol. <laughs> now this guy is annoying because he doesn't really fight us himself. Ooh, that's a bit painful. I can play keep away for a bit though. Okay, now he's out. It's not going to be as easy as that, is it? Ow. Try and keep the extra mobs dying. Does a good amount of damage by himself as well, which is painful. Thank God we got him down before the big poison started to hit us, because that was going to get very painful. Wander a shrine round this way. And Kedjistan is looking a lot better. Right, we've only got a tiny bit of XP before we gain another level, so let's um let's hop down here and just do Guardians of the Pit. go to the arm walls encampment and go north from there because we can uh, we can salvage up our stuff while we're passing through this is uh taking bit longer than normal to load. Not a good sign for the servers. Well, as long as it sa saves our progress in, uh, in the Altar of Ruin, I don't mind too much if we have to jump back in 
All right, give me a moment. I'll restart once uh, once we're actually in and going. Just as I say that, it actually loads us in. That's kind of funny. Uh, we'll grab some side quests while we're here, because we can we can fit another bunch of side quests. And they're kind of on the way to the blacksmith as well. I checked everywhere, sir. Do I? The f that boy's got more sand than sense. More sand than sense. I like that. Is ready for whatever you need. All right. There. We'll salvage all of these up. Tempted to uh, to extract that. This one can just go though. Nice plus pyromancy skill damage though. So we could imprint over the top of it, but we're losing a bit of pyromancy skill damage if we do it. So let's have a just up. Dodge the question. So we're looking to slay skeletons and draw out the champion. It looks like there's a fair amount down around the corner. Not so keen on all the ranged bolts, but... What are you going to do about it? Ooh, Conduit Shrine. That'll... I'm not ready yet. Speed things up a little. I need time to prepare that. That looks like the uh, champion. I like this. This is a nice large battlefield area. Like it feels feels very different to being in a dungeon and just having some combat in a dungeon. Like the battlefield feels a bit more alive. Yeah, he's putting out a lot of damage. Is he going to explode? Yes, he is. Well, we should be able to hand that quest in and get it finished off, but just before we do that, let's uh, kill a few more things to gain that level. And we may as well grab that other side quest while we're in the area. We're going to want to put our point in soon. But we'll just make the area safe first. What is around the other side of it? Actually, first up, firewall point. There we go. You can still do one more point into firewall and then uh, we'll need to find something else. Oh, hello, treasure goblin.
come back here. We're not going to be able to run away from me like that. Ooh, an old journal. That is another side quest waiting to happen. Okay, let's um, let's stop faffing around. We'll head back, hand in our thing at the Iron Wolves encampment, uh, and look for any others that we can we can hand in as well across the map. I killed the champion of the pits. Well That's one. one less job to worry about. Okay, anything else we can hand in down here? We've got the journal to return. So down to gear cool. And it's not much XP that we're getting for this, but the renown is more important. Now that we're level 48, we are this close to being level 50 and moving up the difficulty tier. Here's a journal. Didn't know that. <laughs> 11k XP is actually like no, no small amount. The ovals is more interesting for us though. Okay, what else do we have that we could hand in? Can't do Wolf's Honor without going in the dungeon. We need to go to the pyre over there, but that's uh, that's not a hand in as such. I think that might be it for, for easy Easy bit. We've got the old guide quest to do, uh, but I think we'll probably pick that up next time. Okay. Well, while we're in town, we'll uh, we'll pick up another couple of side quests and then finish up. So there's deadly trade. Ah, do you have any jobs? A... Find the refuge, and thought there was another one. Yeah, there is another one right down at the docks. So we'll grab this on the way through. I found your notice. You need work. Okay, we can do that for you. Casual glance. You know what, let's, uh, let's hop on the horse. It'll be slightly faster. In the grand scheme of things. I'm telling you, that old shrine yelled at me. Tell me about the talking shrine. Old shrine north Don't worry. I've passed that place a thousand times and Okay. We have a bunch of side quests uh, ready for next time. Uh we are gonna finish up there, so I'm gonna I'm gonna salvage this up and um, sort out my inventory. Uh, thank you very much for watching everyone. I do hope you are enjoying this. As always, if you are, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Diablo 4. See you soon.